All right, everyone, we start off today technically with Vermont news, which is that Peter Welch, U.S. Senator from Vermont, has become the first really truly prominent Democrat to actually call on Joe Biden to drop out of the race. Um, again, I've expressed my opinion with regards to this basic premise. I think that you're arguably better off with the dementia patient than you are swapping him out because of the chaos that would ensue if you should do so. You've only got a couple of choices. Basically, you can invert the ticket, so that's a little bit better. I mean, you've got Kamala running. I don't think that she can win. Or you can, uh, you can have some other Democrat come in, but you have to do that basically right now, and you're seeding several states in the process. It could be Gavin Newsom. Maybe it would be Peter Welch. Um, or Gretchen Whitmer or somebody like that, but I don't think that it would go over well. You've got to understand millions and millions of people actually have cast a ballot for Joe Biden in the primaries. It's not a good idea to alienate them by cycling him out, losing the incumbency, probably running Kamala Harris, who, who cannot in, in feasibly win. She'd be a couple points behind Biden, and uh, we'll be talking about polls later. Joe Biden is well behind as well uh, uh, at the moment. Um, I don't know what Welch is talking about. This is pure Vermont, by the way. Peter Welch knows he's got his. He can stay in that position forever. By the way, I've actually met him in person. Uh, there, there's a little bit of a connection there as well that I won't talk about that uh, involves another relative uh, also. Peter Welch knows that he's in a very, very safely blue state. He's got a very, very safe seat. He doesn't really have to defend it. He'll be there forever. He'll be like fucking Bernie Sanders. And so he's capable of, of calling Joe Biden out in hopes that he loses, probably. He's like, well, I mean, if he wins, he can't knock me off my pedestal because, you know, Joe will be gone before me. And uh, if uh, Joe Biden loses, I can say, told you so, basically. The pipe dream of cycling out Joe Biden <clears throat> it could actually become a reality, but it's unlikely to become a reality. And uh, for the Democrats, it wouldn't be a good idea. Again, uh, who do you replace him with? It would have to be Kamala Harris. I'll be talking separately today as well about the fact that if you do vote for Joe Biden, effectively you are voting for Kamala Harris because there's no way, and, and Stephanopoulos and, and many other liberal commentators agree with this basic premise, it's a funny part, uh, that there's no way that Joe Biden serves out uh, an entire second term. He's incapacitated, he dies, he uh, ends up on the funny farm or something like that. I happen to agree with the assessment uh, I have for some time, of course. Uh, Peter Welch is fundamentally wrong, though, because, ironically, the Democratic Party does better with the fucking dementia patient. Would you rather have a dementia patient where you know other people are running the show? Uh, he's, he's out to lunch. Clearly, he barely even chooses his own sock color and stuff like that. Or do you want a psychopath? Because in his absence, Kamala is the one that's running the show. She's a psychopath. She laughs when dead children are brought up. She, she laughs at such things. Um, nobody else could possibly, I mean, they wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be on the ballot in Nevada. The Wisconsin ballots would therefore be flubbed. They would no longer matter, and they're trying to fortify that state. Hell, I think Michigan at this point, in uh, only a short while, I think that Michigan would uh, actually take you off the ballot, and Georgia as well. Not that it's really in play. We've got new polling, by the way. We'll have to talk about that. And, uh, my God. Peter Welch. It doesn't surprise me that Peter Welch would be the first Senate Democrat to call on him to drop out. Because he's in such a safe blue area, it doesn't really matter. Like, like there's not a whole lot of core Biden fans in the state of Vermont. To be clear, Vermont leftoids are more on the far left, so it's more like the Palestine crowd. You're not going to get as much of the Biden stuff. Um, nobody's enthused. I've seen no enthusiasm whatsoever in my home state uh, for Joe Biden. When I go back in a week uh, for, for a brief uh, you know, uh, uh, work vacation, I don't expect to see any Biden lawn signs. I would expect to see a few Trump signs, possibly on my own front lawn, but I don't expect to see anything for Joe Biden. You'd be more likely to see Jill Stein in the state of Vermont. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me, because maybe he's trying to ingratiate himself to the left in the state of Vermont, and he's like, well, this will be good for my re-election. 
Biden will probably lose anyway. So, you know, if I say told you so, people will think that I was some sort of mystic. They'll think that I had a crystal ball. Um, I, I have a suspicion that that's probably what Welch is trying to do. He's got a very legal mind. Now, don't underestimate Peter Welch. He is an intelligent man, just to be clear. Uh, it's just that he's doing the shystery politician sort of thing. He was in the House of Representatives before, and uh, I think he served a couple terms there, and then the seat by Leahy was vacated, and he became the senator. I don't even know who our state representative is at the moment. I'm not sure. I'm sure that it's a leftoid, though. It's definitely not going to be a right-wing Republican or something like that. Vermont is a weird state. Uh, people need to understand this. If you come to Vermont, uh, you might be shocked by how odd we are. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we're on the left or the right of politics, by the way. Vermonters just, we tend to be a unique breed. Uh, <laughs> we're an interesting people. Also slowly dying out as people from other states buy second homes and uh, flood us completely. Um, I, I mean, I don't understand this. I don't understand the calls for Biden to drop out, actually. Any moron could tell that it was a bad idea. Any person with a, a beyond an IQ at room temperature would know that it's not a good idea to replace Joe Biden. You are stuck with the dementia patient. I know that that's sad. I know that that troubles you. Yes, he's probably going to lose. Ballot printers going burr this time I don't think are going to help you. But swapping him out is somehow worse because all of the alternatives fucking suck. You're going to need, by the way, to uh, do some soul searching ahead of the 2028 election and find a few Democrats that actually make sense. Uh, Booty Judge would be on that list, ironically. I mean, he hasn't been the greatest transport secretary, but again, he's the only sane member of the administration, so you could definitely do worse. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, I can't think of anyone else at the moment. I can't think of anyone, unless Tulsi gets back into the party, and, you know, they've called her a Russian uh, Kremlin agent, so she's clearly not going to run. She's not going to uh, join back up with the party. Um, who are you going to run? Hunter Biden? Michelle doesn't want to run. She would at least be sane, but uh, she's uh, refusing. Gavin Newsom? Echo Chamber State, uh, French Laundry, etc. <laughs> There's a laundry list of issues with Gavin Newsom. Oh, the memes would write themselves with that. Whitmer, you mean the one that uh, was attacking her own uh, businesses and uh, you know, drove her state halfway to suicide? Uh, how, how lovely. Uh, the lovely bunch of people. Um, Peter Welch is fundamentally wrong, though. I hate to tell the leftists in Vermont your best bet, I mean, if you're, if you're like TDS suffers, so you really, really hate Donald Trump, your best bet, ironically, is with Joe Biden. That's the, the, the tragic irony is that the 82-year-old dementia patient is your best bet to regain the White House. <laughs> that should tell you something, by the way, about the Democratic Party and possibly your own life choices. That's about all. Peace out.